Okay, for anyone who has a Liberty lift station, I have a dual grinder system, and this has got a lead lag setup. This is a 48 by 60 inch basin. Liberty Pumps has been excellent to work with, by the way. This is how the panel's supposed to work. Make sure you have 120 volt here, or you're not powering up the control board for everything to work. Incoming power goes here. Outgoing power to the pumps is back there. We have everything wired up. It's finally set up the way it needs to be. There we go. The float just kicked on. Now it's alternating. It did the last pump last time. Now it's doing this one. So here we go. Everything's pumping as it should. Power's functioning. Pardon the trash. This is under construction. But here you go. This is my Liberty lift station. It's actually working. The pump is running, man. It runs quiet, runs smooth. I got a 24 inch piece of expansion on this. Make sure you do some sort of expansion on yours because the station's going to settle a bit and move away. But you can see how fast the pump's pumping. My four inch inlet's already exposed. Water's just running right on down. Great job, Liberty. Back for all the trash. Like I said, it's a construction deal. Man, it's just, it's just whisper quiet. It's amazing. What a great product, Liberty. There you go, so you can see better about what I got. Really impressed with this system. Once it's wired up right, sure does work well. I had so many questions, I'm hoping this video will help somebody else. You can see the lead lag's actually set to one, two. It's not on alternate. I'll fix that in a minute. My HOA switches work perfect. You can go to hand operation now or leave it in auto the way I've got it set. There you go, and it's off. Great job, Liberty. You've helped me and my family out.